Hi guys, um, welcome back. So uh, today we are going to be graphing circles. That's exciting. So let's go ahead and do this. So uh, you know what a circle looks like, you know, round things, cool, okay? But a straight definition is uh, a circle is a set of points in a plane that are equal distance from a fixed point. Yeah, you got this, okay? So let's break it down. So we have some fixed point. Okay, we're gonna call that uh, the center, okay, right there. And then we're gonna have this fixed distance. So the distance never changes. And that will be our radius, okay? So pretty much, we're gonna take this fixed distance and spin it around. Oh, that could have been a better circle, okay? So we're just gonna pretend like the distance from the center to any point on this circle is the same, okay? Cool, all right. So now, um, today we're gonna focus our energy on on graphing circles but the first problem is gonna say um, graph the circle and then write the equation okay there are different ways to write the equation of a circle we're gonna focus on center radius form okay so the standard equation of a circle which is in center radius form is given by the following square of x minus h plus square of y minus k is equal to r squared those are just letters that mean nothing to me so let's break it down okay so in this case, the true variables are actually x and y, you know, the ones that you have been seeing from back in the day. Let's break down what h, k, and r represent. In this case, the center is given by h, k. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about identifying h. So h is the number that follows that subtraction sign from the first binomial. And k is the number that follows the subtraction sign from the second binomial. R, what is so special about that? That is our radius. Cool. Okay, so coming to our circle, we have that the center is given by hk. And then R represents that radius. All right, so let's go ahead and knock out phone problem number one. We're going to do a, a total of three problems. So let's do this. Phone problem number one reads, find an equation of the circle with center 1, negative 1, and radius 4, and then graph it. Okay, so let's do this. So there's two things that we need to do. One, we have to find the equation of a circle with this information. And then two, we have to graph it. Do what you gotta do, okay? We're gonna go ahead graph it first because I wanna highlight that we don't need to, we don't need the equation in order to graph it. To graph a circle, there's two pieces of information that you need. One, you need the center, and two, you have the radius. What do we have? A center and a radius. So we have all the ingredients that we need to make this cake, so let's do this. So let me go ahead and write it out. The center is given by one comma negative one so our accepted abbreviation for center is the uppercase c which we can easily be confused with the parentheses and then the radius we're gonna write low we're gonna write lowercase lowercase r the radius is four okay so how do we graph these circles so first we're gonna start off by locating the only point that we know that's on the circle which is that center so from the origin one negative one so from the origin we're gonna go one to the right and then uh, one unit down let me go ahead and zoom in one unit to the right and then one unit down to graph a circle, I need you to highlight four points that are on that circle, okay? So I need you to highlight four points that are four units away from the center. So the question is, what direction should we go? You know, up, down, side to side, on a diagonal, what to do? Now, you may be tempted to go on a diagonal, but, but check it out. Like, don't do that, okay? Uh, why not? Because, let me go ahead and zoom in. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead transpose um, this uh, this graph paper. Oh, that is not a square. Oh, oh no. This is what happens when I go rogue and go out of script. Okay, supposedly that's our graph paper. Okay, when we go one unit to the right, well that's one unit. If I go one unit up, that's one unit, the same unit. But what I want to point out is this. If we go on a diagonal, that distance is actually not 1, okay? That's actually the square root of 2, I think, but don't quote me on that. So what I want to get it is this. Uh, when you locate those four points, 
that are uh, what's the radius four that are four units away from the center I, I just need you to go up down side to side never to on a diagonal so let's do this so the radius is four let's go ahead locate four points that are four units away from the center so we're going to count up four one two three four we're going to count down four one two three four and then four to the left and right one two three four four to the right one two three four cool and then we are gonna do our very best to do a circle okay uh i'm not gonna lie to you I, i'm a terrible uh, artist okay so i'm just gonna do my best we're gonna see how this goes Oh, I'm so proud of myself. That's like my best circle ever. It only took me 20 years. Okay, cool. All right. So I don't think you can see that really good. So let me go ahead, trace it. The question is, what if our circle doesn't look so hot? It's okay. Just try your best. Try to make it look circle-ish. But if you give me something like this, you're not even trying, okay? Just try to make it look like a circle. What I'm going to be looking for is, um, although the center is not on the circle, we needed to locate those those points that are four units away from the center. So I would like to see the center graph, and I would like to I like, would like to see those four points on the circle that are explicitly graphed. And of course, you do your best to do your circle. Okay, so we did the graphing part, okay? Now we need the equation part. So uh, the standard equation of a circle and center radius form is uh, square of x minus h plus square of y minus k is equal to radius squared. Okay, so again, uh, what do we need to write the equation of a circle? We need the center and we need the radius. We have the center, okay? Yes, this is an ordered pair, namely x in the form x, y, but for the purpose of the center, we're going to write it as h, k, okay? Why? Because the center of a circle is given by h, k, and the radius is 4. So let's go ahead, plug and chug. You're not going to have to expand the binomials because the directions say leave the equation in center radius form. So we have square of x minus h value of h is negative is positive one my mistake we're going to add to it square of y minus k y minus k value of k is negative one and that will equal radius squared so although we have the green line to leave the equation in center radius form that doesn't mean we can't clean it up like who wants to see subtract negative uh, not i we can just go straight to plus and why don't we just evaluate the square of four Okay, so I would like your answers as clean cut as possible. So that would give us square of x minus 1 plus y minus negative 1 is the same as y plus 1. And the square of 4 is 16. And that, my friends, is the equation of a circle with center 1, negative 1, and radius 4. Fantastic. <coughs> so let's go ahead and knock out, knock out fun problem number 2 and then we're out, okay? So it says graph the circle, identify the center and radius. So this is nice. We don't have to write the equation. Fun, okay? Uh, so problem A, oh, and I see why we don't have to write the equation. We don't have to write the equation because it's given, okay? So the directions are graph this circle and identify the center and radius. In order for us to graph the circle, well, we need to identify the center and radius. So this kind of looks like center radius form. So let's go ahead and do the center radius form. A circle is said to be in center radius form if it's in the following form. Sorry for the redundancy. Square of x minus h plus square of y minus k is equal to radius squared. So I want to make sure that um, that this equation in this is in this form to facilitate the process. So for the first binomial, I would like to see x minus a number. If I don't see it, then I'm going to fix it. Okay. So we're going to write x plus 5 as a subtraction problem. We're going to write it as x minus negative 5. Okay. We are always more than welcome to rewrite things. You know, rewrite means 
what it says write it again but we cannot uh, change things like add things subtract things and all that good stuff subtracting negative 5 is still adding 5 so we still have an undercover x plus 5 okay uh, let's go ahead add to it square of y minus k I would really love to see y minus the number and we do so there's no man manipulation there is equal to radius squared to facilitate identifying the radius it will be nice if I can write 4 as the square of something and 4 is a perfect square so we're gonna write it as 2 squared okay so let's go ahead identify what we need which is the center and radius okay so let's identify the center so uh, the center is of the form HK value of H is negative 5 value of k is positive 4 so remember h and k are the numbers that follow the subtraction sign so it's going to be negative 5 and positive 4 so the center is given by negative 5 comma 4 okay you can write center or c whatever suits you we are asked to identify the radius so in this case we have that the equation equals 2 squared the base is 2 so the radius is 2 okay popular mistake is that students will say that the radius is 4 because the equation equals 4 but bear in mind that the center radius form of a circle is something something equals radius squared it's not just radius okay so be careful okay to graph a circle we need that center we need that radius we got both so let's do this okay so the center is negative 5 positive 4 so from the origin 5 left and 4 up Okay, five units to the left and four up. You know what? I forgot what, what the information, so let me just put it right here. Center is negative five, four, and the radius is two. Okay, that way I can show on the screen <coughs> what we're working with. So center is negative five, four, so from the origin we go five left and then four up. Hopefully I know how to count. And then the radius is 2, so I need you to identify 4 points that, uh, that are on the circle. So we're just going to go up, down, side to side. So we're going to go up 2, down 2, to the left, to the right. I think that's a song, but I'm not in the mood to sing. And then we're going to do our, just, uh, our, our best to connect those uh, 4 points and make it look like a circle. Our best. Okay, I'm trying. Okay, I'm so proud of myself. All right, I'm going to stop while I'm ahead. Yeah, you cannot see that. Okay, you cannot see that. It doesn't look good on the screen. Cool. So, again, um, could my circle have been a little bit better? Yeah, but it's good enough. Again, I just need to see an effort, okay? But something like this, no, you're not even making an effort. That's just a lake. Cool. All right, so uh, we have one more problem, and then we're out. Okay, so we are asked to graph the circle, identify the center and radius. So I need to make sure that this bad board, this equation is in center radius form. An equation is a circle. A circle is said to be in center radius form if it looks like this. Square of x minus h plus square of y minus k. So, uh, sorry. <laughs> a circle is said to be in center radius form if it looks like this square of x minus h plus square of y minus k is equal to radius squared okay so let's go ahead and do this make sure we have minus minus radius squared and we're good okay now let's look at the first part of the puzzle what happened to x minus a number we don't have x minus a number but the good thing is that we we still have that square part so we're gonna write that x as x minus a number okay we're gonna force it okay so we're gonna write x minus zero so remember we can always rewrite things okay but we cannot change the meaning x minus zero is still x and we're still squaring it okay so we just have a really creative way to write x squared okay so one part of the puzzle down one more to go plus y minus a number again it would be nice if i have a minus we do so let's take that gift is equal to radius squared to facilitate identifying the radius it would be nice if we can write 25 as the square of something and it is good well you know what 25 is a perfect square so let's go ahead and write it as the square of 5 
So uh, we have this equation in center radius form in a way that's a little bit easier to identify the center and radius, so let's do this. So to recap, the center is written of the form HK, so we're just going to identify what follows the subtraction sign. So in this case, uh, the number that follows the subtraction sign is 0, so the center is going to be given by 0 comma something. Okay, for the value of k, k is that number that follows that second subtraction sign, in this case is positive 2. Okay, so the moral, is, the moral of this story is that the center of this equation is given by 0, 2. Let's go ahead and box it, because there's two things that we are asked to identify, uh, the center and the radius. Now, what is the radius? So the base in this case is 5, you know, 2 is the exponent. The base is 5, so the radius is 5, okay? So let's go ahead and graph the circle with center 0, 2, and radius 5. So the center is 0, 2, so from the origin, we're going to stay put and then go two units up. Stay put and then go two units up, and then we're going to locate four points that are five units away from the um, from the center. So you know you know the drill: up, down, side to side. Okay, up five, down five, and then the sides: one, two, three, four, five. Uh, down five: one, two, three, four, five. To the sides: one, two, three, four, five. To the other side: one, two, three. Uh, I don't know how to count: one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then we're just going to do our best to uh, connect those four points and make it circle-ish or as close as possible. Alright, so I'm not nervous, you're nervous. Okay. Alright, I'm just following the curve. And that's okay. Okay. Could it have been better? Yeah. But it's okay, we tried. Can you see it? Uh, I think you can, but just in case. Let me go ahead and do it. And then we're good. Yeah, yeah, you know you like it. Perfect. Okay, okay, guys, so I said we were going to do two sets of problems. That's our, our second pro uh, second set of problems. So uh, we're done for today. Gracias.